Hello everyone, welcome to Market Web Design Tutorials. I'm David from Wondershare Market. In today's episode, we are going to create an education website. So I'm going to start with creating a new project. It's going to be a prototype. And I'm going to choose the custom preset. And I'm going to type in like 1920 because I want to make it a full HD width. And I'm going to make it fairly tall. Something like 6000 pixels should be OK. And I'm going to hit create. So I'm going to start with creating a logo. So I'm going to add a like a logo on the left with a background. And then I'm going to add a navigation on the right. So I'm going to drop in a rectangle. I'm going to change its size and color. And I'm going to bring it over to the left. And next I'm going to drop in an image and I'm going to find an image uh, on my computer. And then I'm just going to put it over my background. Of course, it needs to be way, way smaller. And now just so you can see where we are going with this, I'm just going to drop another image because this is going to be our hero image. And I'm going to put it beneath my rectangle. So somewhere here. And I'm going to make it fairly big. And I'm going to add an image from my computer again. So this would be our main hero image. So now I'm going to add a, a text here beside the logo. So once our text is done, I'm just going to select everything and I'm just going to group them. This will be our logo. So now let's move on to creating our uh, menu. So for that, I'm again going to grab the rectangle and I'm going to put it somewhere here in the top part, I'm going to make it somewhat bigger and now I'm just going to add some text. This, these will be our uh, links. Now I'm just going to add some kind of a definition to our uh, active page. So I'm going to add a background to our home link. Now what we need is just some simple like social media icons here on the right. And for that I'm going to go to this icon tab. And I'm just simply going to search for the icons that I need, like Facebook. I'm going to bring it over, then maybe like Instagram and maybe Twitter. And of course, the last thing to do would be to simply align everything properly, move all the icons and just, you know, tidy this uh, bar up. So this would be our main header, so our logo and our uh, menu on the right. And what we could do right now is we could create a master out of this bar, which would mean that we would have the same kind of layout on each uh, page. So to do that, I'm going to grab all of these elements. I'm going to group them. And this is my group number four right here. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose create master and I'm going to call it header. And you will see that newly created header here in this master uh, master tab. So now we can start creating other uh, elements to our hero image. So we can add like a hero uh, heading and then we can add some text here at the bottom. Okay, so far so good. Now we can move on to creating our uh, next section down here. And this is just going to be some simple text like about uh, our university and just a simple link to just learn more. So our next section is going to be called like you know, what makes us a stand out section. But this one is going to have a um, it's going to have a different uh, background. So I'm going to start with creating that and it's going to have a different color. And once we do that, we're going to have something like a you know text on the left, similarly as we had uh, right here. And then we're going to create some cards on the right. So I'm going to first change the color um, of my uh, of my background. And then I'm just going to enter some text here on the left. So each of our card is going to be composed of a simple square. So at first I'm going to create one square. Uh, this should be enough or maybe it's going to be even a bit too big so we can fix that later. So each of these squares will be filled with a darker gray color. So I'm going to first grab this one but then I'm going to make it a bit darker to something like that. It's going to have like a logo here on the top with a text and some text here at the bottom and then some like a learn more link.
So once our first card is uh, created, all we have to do right now is to simply clone it to the side and to the bottom to have like four of them. Of course, you can adjust the size uh, as you see fit. So once all the cards are in, all we need to do is to just change the headings and then just align everything nicely in relation to our background. So the last step here to finish our section is to add some like numbers here at the bottom, like, I don't know, success rate, you know, faculties or, I don't know, books per student. So all we really need to do is to create one number with some subheading and then just to clone it to the side. Now let's do something like a quick preview of an About Us uh, page. So we're gonna add like an icon and some text here on the left and an image that is going to be overlapping our top uh, section. And a little bit of advice here, since I know that I'm gonna be using this Learn More Here link quite a lot, I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna choose Add Widgets To and then I'm gonna choose My Assets and here I'm just gonna type in something like learn more and I'm gonna create a folder called texts. I'm gonna confirm that and as you can see here in my assets in this component uh, area I got my texts and I got my learn more here widget. So now I can just grab it and put it down here. There we go. So now all we need to do is to add our image here on the right and this section will be done. So now let's create like a blog section. So I'm first gonna add like a big head in here on the left, some text on the right, and then I'm gonna add like blog cards here at the bottom. So once this text is ready, now we can add like the blog cards. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add like, a, like an image, like a featured image. And then we can simply add the heading and maybe some, you know, something like an, like an excerpt and they read more text. So now let's uh, create the how to get the scholarship um, section. And honestly, we can just repurpose uh, the, the elements that we already have. So I'm just going to click on some of these elements, like these three elements, and I'm just going to copy that and paste them but I'm simply gonna move these guys around. So this guy is somewhere here and I'm gonna make it smaller like that. This should be all right. And I'm gonna grab this heading and I'm gonna type in uh, how to get a scholarship. And then I'm just gonna print this text a bit up, gonna make it significantly smaller, maybe even a bit shorter. And then I'm just gonna grab my uh, link from my, uh, from my assets. So it's gonna be, uh, these texts and this learn more. I'm going to put it somewhere here and I'm just going to align all these elements to the center and basically this section is complete. So now let's create the newsletter section. So I'm simply going to create a rectangle that's going to be our background and then I'm going to make it, uh, well I'm going to add a nice yellow uh, color to it. So now we can simply borrow some pieces from uh, from the top. So again, I'm just gonna copy and paste these guys down here. I'm just gonna type in like um, join our newsletter. So now I'm gonna just ungroup everything and uh, I'm gonna ungroup this link as well. So now what I wanna do is I want to repurpose these elements. So instead of learn more here, I'm gonna type in like your email address and then we can simply add like a background beneath it to create like an you know, email subscription form. And then I'm gonna just uh, make this arrow, I'm gonna like turn it into a button. So I'm gonna add a background behind it and I'm gonna make the background black and then I'm gonna make the arrow white. So once everything is done, all we need to do is to just make sure that all these items align nicely to the center, just like that. And this guy as well. So I guess we can now start creating our footer. And uh, for that, I'm gonna just grab the rectangle because I wanna create something like a you know distinctive background for it. And again, I'm just gonna repurpose what I already have here. So I'm just gonna copy this guy, gonna bring it down somewhere here. 
and I'm gonna just build out something like a you know, like navigation uh, in uh, in uh, columns. But first, I'm just gonna ungroup all these elements, and I'm gonna type in something like main navigation. And for the links, I'm just gonna grab this lorem ipsum, and I'm just going to copy it several times. And then all we can do is to simply just you know make these guys smaller. And now we can just simply grab all of these elements and group them and then just copy and paste them so we can now build out our remaining uh, navigation uh, elements. And right now all we need is to just uh, build some more like uh, text or information here on the side so we could add the logo, um, maybe some like, like an address or a telephone number, an email, things like that. So now here somewhere at the bottom, we could add something like a social media bar. So we could add simply social media icons from our widgets. So now we could add something like a sub footer that would host something like, you know, copyright information and maybe some additional links. And to start, I'm just going to copy this background and then I'm going to make it smaller and a bit darker. So let's now just add our copyright information right now. So we can just grab one of our widgets. And in here, I'm just going to type in the date and the name of our university. And of course, we could use something like a copyright information symbol. So I'm just going to go to my icons and I'm going to try to look for one. And then I'm going to add it to my canvas. And of course, all we need to do now is to just align these items nicely in relation to other elements and then we can simply add uh, something like a you know like more links here at the bottom so I'm going to just copy this guy and again I'm just gonna remove some some text and I'm just gonna build out like a like a super super simple navigation of course we don't need this gap to be this big so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this guy a bit to the top somewhere here I'm going to group it and then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to make this guy, this background smaller and I'm going to make I, my canvas a bit smaller to somewhere here. Of course, we are not done yet. What we could do right now is we could create a master out of our footer as well. So we already have our header as our master. So now let's create the footer. So first I'm going to select everything. So all of these elements and I'm simply going to group them for just for organizational purposes and then I'm just going to right click and choose create master and I'm going to call it footer. So now when we go to our master widget we can see that we got our footer and we got our header. So now if we start creating additional screens or additional pages we can reuse these guys and make our design process much much quicker. So now I'll quickly just start out uh, creating my second screen and I'm just going to quickly borrow this image and maybe this text from our first screen and I'm simply going to paste them inside here and of course I'm going to change the change the image and then I'm going to change the text so now we can really take advantage of our uh, master widget so I can just grab my header and I can just put it somewhere here and of course it's a good idea to make sure that it's nicely aligned to the top and to the left and there we go we got our header created so now let's start building our uh, remaining blocks so what i'm going to do is first i'm just going to grab this piece of text so i can just repurpose it and paste it right here and then we can just simply you know move it around make it bigger make it smaller you can do whatever you want with it and now we can start creating our section with the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm go first going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to uh, make it significantly darker. And then I'm just going to grab some of these elements. So what I want is these numbers right here. But of course, what, what we need to do is we need to change their color. So I'm just going to put them right here and I'm going to change their color to something lighter. And I'm just going to maybe change the text here at the bottom. So 
So now let's simply bring in our footer. And there we go. We got our uh, footer created and we got basically this whole uh, this whole page created. And all we need to do is to just change this guy right here. And this is how easily we can you know, use the master widget to simply change uh, our design and make the whole design much, much faster. So we follow the same understanding. We can simply just duplicate this student life uh, screen and I'm going to call it uh, like apply or something like that. So we can simply just uh, exchange the images, change some text, uh, change or maybe leave some text and remove some elements and uh, you know just to make everything work fine and our workflow uh, faster. Okay, so once this is done, I guess the last thing to do here would be to add some links. And we can just double click on our master header. And if we now just grab our links, we can simply direct them to our pages. So admissions, I guess, to apply. Student life is going to go to the student life. So now I'm just going to exit this editing process and I'm going to go to the preview mode. And I'm going to go to my home page. And if we now just go to the top, I'm going to click on admissions. I'm going to be, you know, linked to my site, student life. That's the same, the same situation right here. Okay, so uh, that's all for today's episode. Uh, you can check out the link in the description to try Mock It for free and to create your own designs. And uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next uh, web design episode.